and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is overlapping intervals which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one arr integer 2d array and uh, like array size arr whole arr length can be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and start and end value will be 0 to 10 raised to the power 5 okay so look arr is a 2d array outer array length like the arr this length first length will be anything from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and the second 2d array like the internal array will have a length of 2 only will have a length of 2 only okay all right and these will the values which can be present in those two length array okay all right and now what we have to do what we have to do so this ARR will be representing us, this ARR will be representing us what? Will be representing us the intervals, okay? Now, let's suppose, let's suppose there is one meeting from 1 to 3, another meeting from 2 to 4, like after that, there is another meeting from 6 to 8, and after that, there is another meeting from 9 to 10, okay? All right. So, we have to tell ki if there are overlapping intervals, overlapping intervals, you can say it meetings. If there are overlapping meetings, combine them. If there are overlapping meetings, combine them. Okay. And now we have to return the combined intervals, merged intervals. Okay. All right. So here you can see first interval is 1 to 3 and then 2 to 4. So you can see like first interval, this one first meeting is ending at 3. But the next meeting, but the next meeting is starting at 2. Okay. So starting at 2 and ending at 4. Okay. So if you will represent this on a scale first is something like 1 3 another one is something like 2 to 4 okay all right so this is a, a intersecting this we have intersecting something we are we have intersecting data so intervals are being can be are overlapping this is occupied and this is again occupied so you can see this is some common pattern okay so if i will merge these two intervals new interval will be what 1 to 4 okay 1 to 4 okay after that 6 and 8 9 and 10 so these are not overlapping these are not overlapping so we will simply keep it as it is and simply return the answer okay simply return the answer all right next interval let's see it is starting from 1 so you can see this intervals will not be sorted will not be sorted okay so we have to find out like first of all we have to find out which is the first interval which is the first interval which is starting okay all right so 1 after okay now one another and one is starting and ending it as at nine okay all right second one is what two to four so first of all i will sort it on the basis of zero index okay so on sorting it will now second one will be two to four okay so two to four is lying two to four is completely lying inside one to nine okay then there is four to seven okay four to seven four to seven is also lying completely between one to nine okay after that six to eight so six to eight all right this is also completely lying from 1 to between 1 to 9 so my merge interval will be only 1 to 9 and i will simply return that okay all right so i hope the problem statement will be clear to you now it's not much typical as well it's a very very simple problem statement we have to merge the common uh, overlapping intervals and then return us a new list of integer types okay so list of integer types all right now the problem is how are we going to do this how are we going to do this okay all right so first of all what i will do i will solve Salt on the basis of zero index. Salt on the basis of zero index. Okay, like zero index basically means inside this array, one, three, two, four. These are the all the intersecting. These are all the arrays, and then we have to sort it, sort it on the basis of zero index. Okay, something like this. So we can write a comparator function for it, and after that it will be sorted. Okay, all right. Once it is sorted, so now what I will do, I will keep my start at one point. I will keep my start at one point. I will keep my end at another point okay like starting will be at now suppose let's take one example as well so for now my first array is this okay i will keep my start and end okay and my answer array will be as it is will be also okay all right so now for this one two three i will do what i will uh, like five for this my start is one and end is three okay all right now i will move to next pointer i will move to next pointer that is two to four okay that is two to four so i will check i will check what i will check if the new array that is two four if the i is let's say i is a new array if i zero is less than end if i zero is less than end it means we have got a intersecting interval it means i have got a intersecting merge like overlapping interval and now what i will do i will simply update my end i will simply update my end to i1 i will simply update my end to i1 or e 
current is so whatever will be max in this whatever will be max in this i will simply do that i will simply take that okay so i1 will be what 4 and is 3 so it will be updated to 4 okay all right now till now my answer is empty till now my answer is empty okay all right so after that new array came 6 8 new array came 6 8 uh, now i will check if i0 i0 will be what i0 will be 6 okay if 6 is less than e is 4 okay no 6 is not less than that. 6 is not less okay so what we will do we will simply first of all update my like add one of the uh, interval that is 1 2 4 starting and end okay so one of the interval is added all right after that after that what i will do up, i will update my starting and end so my starting and end in this case because there is no overlapping so it will my starting will become 6 my starting will become 6 and end will become 8 and will become 8 something like this okay all right so starting and end are done after that after that what after that again my pointer will come to 9 10 okay again what i will do i will simply check i0 i0 is what 9 is less than 8 no 9 is not less than 8 so again there is no overlapping interval what i will do i will again update is like store my starting and end to our answer okay something like this after that i will update my starting and end to 9 10 okay 9 10 and after that my array will end my loop will end because we have reached to the last after reaching to the last after reaching to the last simply add this start and ending as well simply add this start and ending as well to our answer array because that is this is also one interval okay 9 and 10 okay all right and that's it guys that is it we are done we are done and we will simply return this i hope the problem explanation will be pretty simple and it will be very very clear to you if yes don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video as well okay so now let's move on to the code section but before moving on to the code section i want to show you a very cool extension which i have made so let's see that first okay all right let me give you a quick walkthrough of the extension which i have built so you will get the link in the comment section pinned one so you have to go through that it will open this ui here you will be having one add to chrome button you just have to add it you just have to add it okay all right after that you will go to any geeks for geeks question you will have to refresh it once so that changes are getting reflected after that you will get this watch tutorial button okay this watch tutorial button it will be here and on clicking of this a simple modal will open and here you can find all the tutorials here first one is mine only count inversions which i have just updated yesterday and there are others as well uh strivers is there and this is tech those one geeks for geeks as well okay all right so whatever you want to to watch you can simply click on this and uh, it will be open opened here as well and if you want to see it on youtube just click on watch on youtube and you will be uh, moved to this video and you can watch it here as well okay all right so yeah that was it guys about the extension and you can pin it as well like you can use this pin and after that you can use this extension on lead code as well you can use this extension on lead code as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys let's move back to the uh, code part uh, okay so i hope you have liked the extension and you will surely download it it's for free and uh, yeah uh, download it and please give good ratings as well now let's move on to the uh, code part okay so first of all what i will do i will simply store my list of integer and let's name it answer is equal to new array list something like this okay all right and after that what i told first of all i will simply sort the array so arrays dot sort of arr and uh, what I will do is I will sort it on the basis of zero index. Okay, so I will simply write a comparator function here, a b a zero minus b zero. I hope this is clear to you this comparator function. And if you are using C plus plus Python, you can write for that comparator function as well. Okay, all right. Again, next step what to store my starting is a r r of zero zero, and end will be a r r of zero one. Okay, something like this. All right. Uh, till this point, it's pretty sorted. After that, what I will do, I will simply start my loop from one because zero, it's already done. Okay, arr dot length i plus plus something like this. After that, what I will do? Look, if you remember, if you remember what I write, I will again write it. If arr of i zero is less than end, if it is less than end, it means It means what? It means I have got a I, I have got a overlapping interval. I have got a overlapping interval. So in that case, what I was doing, I was simply updating. I was simply updating my end to math dot max of arr i zero 
I1 and current rate. Okay, if you remember, I hope you will be remembering because now suppose 19 I got, 19 was my first turn. After that, I got 24. Okay, so 2 is less than 2 is less than 9. Okay, 2 is less than 9. So what I will do, I will update my end, update my end, and my current end will be what? Current end will be 9, and the new array ARR I, ARR I1 is 4. So I will update my end to 9 only because maximum of the present and the like already there current. Okay, all right, something like this. So that is one thing. And uh, after that, after that, if I will come in else, here it means, it means there is no overlapping interval. There is no overlapping interval. Okay, all right. So what I will do, I will simply make one new array int a let's name it a is equal to new int of two length okay all right or we can simply write out something like this with the str and int okay so str and int are added to my a okay all right i will simply update my answer dot add a okay all right after that i will update my str my str will be new str will be arr of i0 and end will be ARR of I1. Okay, I hope this point will be also clear. It's not a uh, uh, too much. It's very very easy because if there is no overlapping interval, let's say six eight. So what I will do? I will store my previous start and end. I will store my previous start and end. Now after that, add new start and end. Like uh, update my start and end to the new ARR I. Okay, all right. So yeah, guys, that is it. That is it. After coming out of this loop, if you remember, I told you. If you remember, I told you like one start and end will still be remaining because they they are updated here but they are not added at last and after coming out of this loop we have to add that okay so nothing much just copy this just copy this and paste it here okay all right and simply return answer okay so it's again done uh, we don't need to update my start and end here we don't need to update my start and end here because there is no start and end now all are added okay all right so i think there should be one equal to here because i0 is equal to end okay let's submit it now so i hope it will be getting accepted as well meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and this code you will get on my github i will update at the link as well and i will update that at the link of chrome extension as well i will add the uh, link of chrome extension as well you can download that as well okay all right so yeah that's it guys i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye